presentation of what we there we go. Welcome everybody to our Saturday morning We're recording. <laughs> All right. Thank you for being here first and foremost. Um, I always do my best work, you know, to show up for other people. And so that's a lesson too, just a little nugget in the business, right? It's like you can sit in your office all day long doing all the things with every great intention, but it's the people part, you know, that really allows us to step in and step up into an experience, right? And so I want to encourage you guys um, this morning, particularly because our focus is really a startup process. Like what happens when you say yes to the business? Like you say yes, or you restart your business, or you're going to step into that direction. Like what comes after that decision, right? And first and foremost, I just want to encourage you. Hi, Sani. So great to see you this morning. Um, I want you guys to know, like, it's not a final decision. <laughs> like, that's where I think people stop before they start, right? With this business, it's a series of decisions. And sometimes those decisions take you in one direction and you're running. And then sometimes they take an S curve. <laughs> like there's just, there's a lot of flexibility in this. And I really want you to give yourself grace in that and understand that you are part of a team that is really, truly loving and non-judgmental. Like we are not out to shame or blame anybody. We're not here to critique what you've done or not done. We're not counting, you know, your points in a sense of like, oh, she's got, you know, like we don't do it like that. Like what I do from the top, I always explain it this way is, is kind of like a quarterback would, you know, like I see the field, you know, I know the place. I know when people are close to things, like I can see and sniff and understand just based on how things pop up. Um, and then I'll step in and offer some guidance, support, some encouragement and invitation, right? To take a step. Um, and that's like multiple levels down. When it's direct to me, obviously I'm working one-on-one -on -one with people and helping them get to the places they wanna to go to. But building this business is really a self-directed journey. And I love that, you know, I love that. And <laughs> that sometimes makes it harder, right? Because it's so much easier to show up to something and be told what to do. Mm. Right. It's so much easier to even, even in a volunteer situation, you show up, okay, what needs to be done? And then you get in and you get, you go to do it. Right. But to have to be in charge of your own decisions and to charge of kind of where you're going to take these things, sometimes that can trip people up. So again, like in the startup phase, a lot of it is just getting your mind right around this stuff. So just understanding that there's no way to fail. Okay. There is no failure in this. It's just a series of learning opportunities. So every time we engage with a new prospect, every time we engage with a new customer conversation, every time we engage with a cancellation, you know, those things teach us something. And if you look at it from that lens of just like, okay, I learned this from this experience, it makes you better, right? And then over time, you'll adjust, you'll get better, you'll grow, and then you grow into the place that you want to get to. And sometimes people really don't know what that destination is yet, and so they get caught up on that. That's the stop before the start too. It's like, I don't know where I want to go. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know how much I want to make. And that's okay too. So in those situations, I just encourage you like lean on us and trust us because we will guide you. And you'll hear me say things in this training, like it just makes sense to do this. Right. And there's a reason for that because stopping and starting is very hard. It makes this very laborious. It just takes it much longer than it needs to you get paid a lot less than you need to. It feels frustrating and challenging. Um, it, it's like pulling a rock up a hill, you know? But if you can work with the timing of it, you can build momentum in and that momentum will help carry you to a place that will serve you better, right? Do you see that? So just understand that's where this is coming from. This is not like a, you need to do this or there's no manipulation in any of this, right? This is just, I'm gonna lay it all out and then kind of show you the markers, the places, the things, the hows. And I really want to encourage you guys to engage and ask questions too. I won't be able to see the chat. If you do chat it in, um, maybe Danny, you can put those out for me, but um, feel free to interrupt me. Like I, I don't get insulted by that at all. This is a conversation, not a presentation. And I just put it in slides because I think pictures are important to help things stick. And I think it's important to be able to take pictures of things and, you know, kind of work with that so that you feel equipped with what to do next. Okay. So what I did was I put together a presentation based on all the sticky notes that I <laughs> kind of raised myself in the business with. Right? I had literally at when I started and people will give me all these excuses. I don't have an office space. I don't have this and that. Okay. I didn't either. I had two little baby kids, you know, as I was like building to big positions and stuff. 
And I took literally stick it, sticky notes and I would tape them up to my wall. And when people would say, hey, where am I? How close am I? I'd say, hold on, let me look. And I would look at the sticky note. And I remember like sending pictures to Danielle and to some of the other people on the line, you know, of like, okay, we've got this much left. And it was the only way that I knew how to break it down and keep it in the forefront of my thinking. Mm -hmm. You have a good post-it note system, see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there are like, it, it's whatever works for you, right? Again, this is not a, this is the only way to do it. This is just a version, you know, of how we can kind of get through this. Um, but hopefully the pictures will help and make sense. Okay. So I'm going to go and share my screen and pull oh, up. No. Any questions before we get started? No. If there's something you want to know, okay, I'm going to take this through this presentation, open it for questions, and then we'll stop the recording. And if there's something that you want to dive into afterwards, then let me know. Okay. Um, this up real quick into Canva. And all right, I'm closing you guys so I can't see you because I have to be able to press these buttons. There we go. Okay. It's all fancy. I used like a no. more modern thing. Mm -hmm. Ready. Denise, we can hear you just in case. I don't know if you want to mute that for now and unmute when you have questions, okay? All right. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go back. There we go. So onboarding. Um, what is onboarding? Onboarding is just basically like when you come on board, <laughs> uh, where do we go from there, right? Like what happens next? And that's kind of what we're talking about today. Just the focus of like, what are the steps that come in after that decision? Um, we are glad you're here. I want to really preface this. I put this slide in. It didn't have to be here, but everything in this business grows from gratitude. You guys have heard me say that a lot, but I really want to make sure that you understand that in your core, that gratitude is the fertile ground with which things grow. So if you are engaging with people and you have judgment, that's where you really need to check yourself and understand like, and it, and it comes, it slips in there. It's like, oh, why won't they just say yes to this? Or what don't they understand? Or come on, I know she has money. I don't know why she's not, but you know, like that kind of chatter will come in and it'll sneak in sometimes. And I just really want to challenge you guys that, especially in the beginning, it's new, it's a new habit. And you don't have the confidence behind you to know that, you know, just because this one person is saying no, like, doesn't mean that the 10 people after her are going to say yes. Like you just, you have to kind of open your mind to that place of like, that's okay for now. Right. Like, let me just love on her. I see where she's at. She's telling me where she's at. Let me love her there right? Let me see if there's any other resources that she needs to, to really grab this and kind of, you know, step forward. I heard Ray Higdon talk about this um, just last night. I was listening to a really good presentation that he did. Um, and he was talking about just like, you know, people running around trying to slam things down people's throats that they're not ready for, you know? And it got me thinking of like, you know, when you're sitting there and you're like full, like your stomach is so full, like maybe you've had like a really like big lunch and nobody knew. Cause like, you know, they weren't with you, but you went out to this like fancy lunch. You're like, oh my gosh, I just, I can't eat another bite. And then you come in, like someone's like, here, come sit down and eat something. And you're like, you know, I'm just really not in that place. And you're feeling like, I'm just really not in that place, right? But the person so badly wants you to have the thing that they want to give you because they know it's so good for you or so delicious or whatever. That happens to us all the time, you guys. You know, sometimes people are just so full to the brim with information that they just can't take on one more thing, right? Like they're just overloaded. They've been like marketed to at, like on the way from the second they got up in the morning on their drive to work, at work, home, like the whole thing, we just get tired of it, you know? So be conscious of that, that sometimes when people are saying no or they're not interested, it's just because they're overloaded with the other stuff. So questions are so important when you're engaging with people because we're stepping into a place where we're opening their brain to receive some information. Does that make sense? So just, just be thinking about that um, as you're talking to people. Okay, so um, I kind of tried to get all formal and fun here, but hopefully this comes through. This is my story in a very short nutshell. <laughs> you know, um, It's basically, I put these bullet points up here and you can take a picture if you want, but these are the places where I feel like I can hit a home run with people who are looking. So think of, I mean, I, I competed very competitively in athletics. Um, I have a special ed degree. 
an elementary ed also, but it, just to make it clear, it's special ed degree and also educational psychology background. So how the brain works, how it all comes together, how to feed a healthy brain, that kind of stuff. Um, seven years in high tech. So I have a, a professional background as well. Um, you know, spent that out here in California. Then, um, you know, what got me into Juice Plus was cancer, right? It was my dad getting that diagnosis. So I have a lot of understanding and knowledge in that space too. I've been in the company for 15 years. So that matters to people. Like when you're talking to them, it's um, a badge of honor, if you would, you know, just of like longevity. And I've seen a lot. <laughs> I want you guys to know that. I want your new people to know that. Like, I've seen a lot, right? And I've experienced a lot and there's been a lot of growth and changes and all sorts of stuff. And so there's history in that and that can be a benefit to people, right? I've had two Juice Plus pregnancies. So anybody that's considering to get pregnant, struggling with getting pregnant or is pregnant, um, I really, I have a lot of knowledge and, and ability to communicate in that space. I have um, overcome migraines, which was a really big issue for me. Sometimes people with a situation like that they, they feel like nobody understands. And so to speak on a one-to-one, -one, I know to kind of a feeling like space, it's important, right? To build that trust and that connection. So feel free to use me in that space too. Um, gut issues has been something that my family just has dealt with forever. And I had lots of issues when I was younger growing up. Juice Plus has played a major role in that. And there's a lot of education and resources we can support you know, around that. Skin health, um, you know, this is another thing too. It doesn't seem like maybe the biggest deal, but I'll tell you what, people care about how they look, you know, and we can really speak to that. I have, um, you know, some good stories around that and just some experience and immune function, you know, and so this is another thing. So I put these in here. I didn't write inflammation down, but inflammation would tie to the migraine piece. I just want you guys to know, like, how do you, right? Like I'm a tool for you, you know, like if you get into a conversation, that where people show curiosity, that's where you bring in a resource. It's not because you can't say the right thing or you don't know the stuff or you're not good enough. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with them getting the support of somebody else to validate their feelings, to listen to what they have to say and to you know encourage them to take a step, right? Ask some questions, encourage them to take a step and to guide them. And in that process, you guys will learn and grow right? Just from the experience of osmosis. So hopefully this is helpful, but I wanted to just kind of bullet point that. I thought that would be a helpful thing. All right. So I love this quote. You're a true leader when you help your team be successful. And this is really my philosophy in everything. So those of you who've worked with me for a long time, you know, like, yes, I love getting promoted. I love hitting the brass ring. I love, you know, scoring the goals and all that kind of stuff, but there is nothing <laughs> that gets me more than promoting all of you. So just now, if you want to give me a gift, go get yourself promoted, you know, like work with me, let's get you moving because it's just, there's so much joy in that for me. It really feels like I'm passing the torch forward. It validates the decision to leave that highly competitive, very well-paying job, you know, to come and do this other work, right? It just, it's all the things and it really honors my dad, you know? And so I just want you guys to know that my desire for your success. I mean, in this part is, is definitely selfish because it's just such a high, but truly like it's you that motivates me. And I want you to know that like to your core. Okay. Um, the goal for everybody that starts this business and even starts like from the customer perspective is to grow with us, right? That's the goal always. So it's not to turn somebody into something. It's to invite them hold their hand and walk along with them, right? So this is a little um, visual just to give you kind of a, an idea of what that you know, turns into. And some of you may kind of see where you fell into this too, right? We all come in at different places, but we start with a prospect. They then become a customer, right? From the customer, I would call them a VIP member. It's somebody who is more engaged. We also call this like a raving fan. Um, somebody who has a story to tell, who's excited, who's curious, who wants to learn, you know, we want to foster that. Okay. And our, go our goal is to get them from the one place to the next. Okay. So if you have customers that are not yet VIP members, there's some work to do there. Right. And then from the VIP member, they can start referring people to you, right. Or just stay on it forever, or we can invite them to become an affiliate. Right. And so when we step in, and I know this is new language, we call it affiliate. It's, 
not company adopted yet, but in the field, we're really just using that word because it's really describes what the initial stage looks like for a partner when they come in, right? They come in and they're, they, they came in because they like it. It made sense to them. They're excited about it and they want a way to share with other people. There's not really like a big goal yet behind their decision and that's okay, right? So we wanna honor them where they're at. We wanna empower them to share with lots of people. The more they share, the more they care kind of thing. And that's like that next step in there, right? So it's more of a casual entry point. Now from there, some people will get the bug and they'll get a little excited and they'll see that first paycheck come up. And if you follow what I'm gonna show you next, you're gonna see how to make the money quickly. And that money comes in and that kind of gets their attention, right? And then they go, wait a minute, I kind of like that $500 or whatever, right? That showed up. Like, what if I could make that more of a regular thing? And then that's where the part-time person comes in, right? It gives you the opportunity to have that part-time experience where you build something that's stable and it shows up regularly, okay? That's that part-time piece. Now, the professional piece is something different. And that's something that is not gonna appeal to everybody, but everybody needs to know about. Because I'll be honest, if I didn't know about the professional side of this business, I never would have done it. I want you to think about that. <laughs> Hundreds of team members, thousands of customers would not have been, you know, in the system because I would have said no. So it's really important. And I was a professional in another world. So like, don't judge people where they're at, just invite them to what you have. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, so when we begin, you're going to see the picture of the capsules up on the top. So everything I'm talking about really is built around trios, okay? So trios are the fruits, the vegetables, and the berries, okay? And that just is basically the building block for what we're going to do. The math is easy when we share it this way, so that's why I wanted to start here. Everything else that you sell is going to count also. Everything that you, all the orders you put in, everything, everything matters, okay? But in order to keep it simple, I want you guys to use simple math and I want you to think of it in clean, um, clean ways, right? So what we do basically, and you've heard, if you've been on the Tuesday night calls, um, I can't see your hands and faces and stuff, but I'm guessing a bunch of you have. And the Tuesday night calls that we've been offering um, through the Healthy Living Affiliates group have been instrumental in helping business grow. Just to give you a perspective, if you're not plugging in, the company has seen a 27% increase in sales from since the start of those calls. So that's a huge, huge deal, right? 27%. <laughs> Double digit anything is big, but 27 is big. So I want to encourage you guys to pay attention to those. So healthylivingaffiliates.com is the, the website you would go to for the information on that. They're every Tuesday night, and now we've paid and invested. This came from the field. It's a big gift from your leaders. But we all invested to raise over $4,000 to make it possible so we could have some live stream replays. So you can go there and watch former calls and stuff. I'm on one of them, um, which I take people through a memory jogger of how to get started and that kind of stuff. And um, I'm not going to do that today with that exercise, but I will point you to that to learn about that a little bit. So in the beginning, we're working on trios. So the first thing is we're going to eat the product and then we're going to share it with other people, right? So we're going to eat our trio capsules, we're going to order that, at least that one for, thing for ourselves. And we place our own personal order, okay? When you get a partner that signs up and they don't place their first order, we have to ask questions around that. So I would encourage you to ask them ahead of time, okay, so we're going to get you in the system and let's place your order today, right? Like have it all happen at once so that they kind of kick it off. It sounds funny to sign up for something and not place an order, but that's a hesitancy thing. People get nervous, they get scared, they get cold feet, all those things. We wanna make sure that if they're gonna go into the system and we're gonna send them a starter kit, that they're ready to go, right? And if they're not, then that's okay too. We can just say, if you're not ready, that's okay. Let's just, let's just press pause, right? And we'll come back to that. What else do you need from me? It's a good question to write down. What else do you need from me to feel comfortable in taking that next step? And then you just ask them, because a lot of times there's something that's holding them back, right? And we want to always ask questions before we guide them to do something, okay? It's just so we can get clarity around that. So the first thing we do is we place our own personal order, and then we're going we're gonna to eat it, and then we're going to share it with two people. So we're going to get two people. So typically, people sign up their family. You know, it's kind of easy. Um, husband, wife, children, whatever, mother, brother, neighbor, 
somebody close to you, right? And that language can be really simple. Like, I think the mistake people make in the beginning is they get to this place and then they go, okay, I placed my order and I'm, you know, they, they, they're like, then they try to give the person all the reasons why they should like it too. Right? Instead of just saying something simple like, hey, I'm going to give this a try. Do you want to try it with me too? You see how different that is, you guys? Like, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, but it seems to make a lot of sense to me. I'd love to go on that journey with you. Or, you know, I'm kind of looking for a buddy to like, to be my guinea pig or, you know, just ask them, invite them to the experience. You're just asking them to try it. That's all you're doing. You're not selling them anything. Okay. You're inviting them to an experience. And so that's the part that we really need to help our, our people get done early because when they have that success with the first person and the second person, it builds confidence to do the things that come next. Okay, so in your first 10 days, you're going to focus on getting your orders in and then two other people. Okay, and that will set you up for the partner plus promotion. And in a 10 day period, you'll get a hundred dollar bonus. If it goes beyond that inside of a 30 day window, they'll give you a fifty dollar bonus. Now, again, the reason they're motivating you to do more quicker is because the research shows us that when you move forward faster, you stay longer, go farther, have more fun and earn more money, okay? So the timing of this is on your side, okay? Just know that it's not pressure, it's for your benefit, okay? Um, so this just gives you a little opportunity to kind of check things off. So you'll put your completion date and your total points, okay? And again, sticky notes. You can just take these squares and put them right on your office wall, right? Just like I did, okay. Um, the next step, right? in the process and the startup process. This is where we go next, right? So let's have some fun. And I put this up here uh, because I really wanted you guys to see. You could choose to live in the front row or the third row. Like <laughs> They're having fun up here <laughs> in the back row, not so much. And I use this in a lot of my presentations, so it's probably not a new thing to see. But I love it because it shows me that like, why not just say yes? Like you said yes already. So let's just step in and see what happens, right? There's no... Um, there's, there's no, I mean, there's only benefit, right. From saying yes and taking more steps. So what we encourage people to do, if you're going to go for that next place, right. So you got your partner plus done. Some people just want to stop there and that's totally fine. But if you want to set yourself up for a little bit of that recurring revenue and take advantage of some of the bonus money that's coming to you, you want to set up some events. And we've always encouraged people to do three events. So if you're gonna launch your business, I encourage three events in like a short window. I like to do a blitz weekend. I just recently did one because I'm new to this area out here in Idaho. And I realized, you know, I've got to do kind of a launch, right? It's kind of like a grand opening. It's easier for me to clean my house once, <laughs> kick my kids out and have them busy for a weekend than it is to spread it out over three weekends or, you know, different evenings and that kind of stuff. And so what do events look like and what are they, right? Like. This is where you get to get creative and put your own spin on it. An event can be as small as a two-person coffee date, or it can be as big as, you know, a big open house, you know, and a potluck supper. Like it could be anything in between. It could be anything that you want to. The point of it is getting people together to share information. Okay. So the introverts in the crowd are going to lean towards the one-on-ones and that's totally fine. And in case, and to be honest, I actually really, really enjoy one-on-ones, especially when it comes to business and stuff, um, because I get to know the person, right? I can give them my full attention, but I also see the huge value in putting an event together where I have multiple people in my house because I can say something once and multiple, multiple people can hear it. And that saves me time. It brings energy to them. And it's really helpful for them to see other people responding well to the information. Does that make sense? It kind of sets that tone for it, right? So in this case, um, you would list what those events might look like. A lot of you have been to events like a salad in a jar party or a yoga event. I know Danielle's done a lot of um, like prayer meditation stuff and like, you know, some really cool um, tower garden things. Like you can make it what you want it to be. Again, I'm just going to reiterate that because it's important that you put your personal touch on it. Um, if you're not creative and you need like, you know, um, help in that space, just ask, cause we have tons of ideas, right? We've done this for a long time. Um, and we're going to really set you up with an event that's going to make you shine. You know, we want you to shine. So this is just a way to get organized, to fill in the name. So what I always do 
you know, if you're in an area where you have speakers that come take advantage of those experiences, because the speakers will do all the work for you. And all you have to do is get the people there, right? So what I've done in the past is I would take my pen and I would write up here, you know, Dr. Valerie Miles, she was just in Orange County. I put her up at the top and then I would say below here, these are the people I invited to that, right? I'll tell you, it's really nice to have a running record of who you invited to what event because you can say, hey, I know I invited you like six months ago to this thing and you weren't able to come to it, but how, but hear me out. There's this other thing happening and I think that might be a better fit. Or, you know, I know you missed that one, but I, I really would love to get you the information and so-and-so is coming to town or there's gonna be a, a live webinar, you know, something like that. So some of these can be virtual too, but the in-person effect mm -hmm. is priceless. So just keep that in mind. So even if there's like a online virtual thing you wanna watch, you might want to gather people in your home to watch it because having the people together is what makes it kind of sit in. Does that make sense? So three events in your first 30 days, that's kind of the rule of thumb. So if you're going to write something down, write that down. And then you want to get organized. So you, you plan a little bit of, you know, time, like obviously it's kind of happening quickly. When you first start, you grab the help of your sponsor, you put together a little flyer if that's necessary, or just a text message and then you invite, right? So in the invitation process is usually where a lot of these conversations happen. And I'm taking you to this next step where um, we already, we're assuming that you've already completed your three trios, right? And you've got the Partner Plus promotion. So now where do we go from there, okay? You've got your events set up if that's what you wanna do to get to the next bonus. If not, and you just wanna get your, co your cost covered for your product, because this happens for a lot of people, a lot of people say to me, well, how do I show them to like pay for their product? Like, how does that work? Right? Well, the math is simple. If you're working on trios, <coughs> excuse me. So I'd imagine that the, the partner who signed up wants to get the quad because they want to get as much of a good experience as they can. In order to cover the cost of the quad for the year, you need to get six customers on the trios that are on a recurring basis. Okay. So you already have your first three. So you would just fill those in right? If this is your goal, you fill those in and then you look to get another three. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? So the key is just like, like, what is it that you want, right? Like this is a pick your own ending kind of an experience. You get to choose and direct and you can navigate and you can make those S curves and you can do all the things you want to do, but setting a little bit of an intention, a little bit of a goal is important because then you have a direction to go in, right? Otherwise people just, they flounder and they don't know what to do from there. Okay. So I wanted to give you that. Um, all right. And then this is kind of like the next step, right? So again, we're building, we're layering here, right? On like the experience. So like, let's just say you get through that place. Okay, great. So I got my quad covered for, um, you know, maybe you want to go and go for that QSC promotion, right? And you decided to set up the events and, and all that kind of thing. Well, a QSC promotion is 12 trios, okay? So you have your first three, those are already done. And then you just built out your six, okay? Now it's time to kind of circle back around and figure out, okay, why did they say yes to begin with? What is it that they're trying to accomplish? Because we can get caught up in the attainment of customers. And in the process of that, we oftentimes lose sight of people's goals or we don't spend enough time there. And then there's nothing more discouraging than when they cancel four months later, right? So we want to take this time to circle back around and say, hey, I'm so glad that you're taking it. Tell me the things you love about it. Write them down. Keep a note, right? Like, let them get excited. Or if they're not excited, what are you curious about? So that you can give them some supplemental information to help them get excited, you know, because sometimes people don't feel anything. And that's not a knock on them, but it's just is what it is. And so we have to work with people on all levels of the spectrum, right? Um, and in those conversations, I would ask them, if you could accomplish one thing, you know, a year from now, if your body could be improved or better or, you know, stronger or whatever, by like one thing, you know, a year from now, what would you want that thing to be? And then write that thing down here or somewhere, right? And keep that in mind, because it's going to tell you a lot about the person. If they say something like, oh, I don't really know, I don't really have any goals. You just learned that that's a canceled customer like in the future because they don't have a reason to stay on board. They probably did it to help you. Like they probably, you know, so we want to help them develop that, right? Okay, I understand. 
you know, that, you know, sometimes people just kind of see, they start because they want to see if it works, right? <laughs> or whatever that means. And so you want to guide them. But if you could experience one thing, what would that thing be, right? And take them a little further. Because those are the conversations that are going to help build some strength into your business. And you want to build that foundation off first. Okay. It's really, really important. Um, and when we layer this, when we get to know people, when we really understand what their goals and their needs are, they feel heard, they feel justified, and they solidify their discussion with me. And notice I, I asked it in a way that I was projecting out a year because we really want our customers to be on the product for a year. Okay. It just, it gives them the best experience and they kind of come back around and go, wow, like I am a different person at that point. Okay. So 12 trios in a 60 day window, right? is gonna get you that promotion. If you do it in 30 days, you'll get more money, okay? Just always remember that faster is better, right? Go for the faster. If it spills over into the, the second part, then that's okay too, but try to get yourself you know, the best experience possible, okay? All right, let me move on to the next thing. So here's where we have a moment of truth, right? <laughs> because most people that come on this call come on because either they've hit a stagnation in their business and their development, or they're starting and they're afraid to start. So they're kind of like tiptoeing and they're not sure what to do. And a lot of times they come up against this objection, which is Juice Plus is too expensive. Okay. It's not by coincidence that they all kind of get there. Okay. So I need to check in with you and make sure, like, do you see this for what it is? It's like juicing, juicing, but easier and more affordable, right? That's the first thing. I just spent $155 on a three-day cleanse, <laughs> okay? That's half of a four-month supply of Juice Plus, three days. You see that? So Juice Plus is the most effective and affordable way to consume such high-quality produce safely every day. I need you guys to really internalize that. And if you're not in a place where you can yet, then start using it like a, a flashcard and kind of tell your brain that because it is truly the truth. I have yet, I've challenged everybody that I've met who brought, who's brought me that um, objection. Like, you know, how much do you think it should cost then? And they're like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, well, no, seriously, how much were you expecting it to cost, right? And then they give me a number and then I take them to, you know, just like look at all the ingredients and then we price out what the ingredients cost each day. And when you add it up, I mean, this was 10 years ago, we did this exercise. We went and bought all the things at Whole Foods 10 years ago. Okay. I mean, groceries have gone up astronomically since then and equal quality produce, like, and that's not even equal, but like the best I could get, right. They came in at $42 a day for the, for the, uh, the ingredients. And we couldn't even get all of them because they didn't have them in the store. So $42 a day versus, you know, $3 a day, right? It's such a difference. So if, when you start to really see this for what it is, people will respond to you differently. And so I encourage you, like, say this to yourself, like remind yourself, you know, look at the grocery. When you go buy an apple, go look and see how much that actually costs. Like you'd be really surprised, you know, and we get all of this nutrition, all of these plants every single day in their best form, right? So once that sinks in, everything else will change. And I just really wanted to call that out because a lot of people get stuck in this one place and that's where, you know, the work needs to be done. Okay, so, so this is kind of how it builds out, right? So we've talked about the one through three, we get to the partner plus, then we go to the QSC, which is the seven to 12 over here. You can see that, right? The product gets paid for somewhere in here, right? And then, the next couple of steps, right, is to build out to what we call a qualified business. And this qualified business piece comes after the QSC promotion and before sales coordinator. So it's important to talk about because this is a place where we talked about in the beginning, if you're looking to get some part-time residual income, it happens here, okay? So that doesn't seem like a lot for people until you take six months off and the paycheck keeps showing up right? Like there's a really special nature with which we build this business. It takes time and it takes intention, right? It takes coachability. It takes humility. But when you build it, you guys, it's really hard to break it down. 
it's amazing. It's just amazing because people get really connected to their daily habits. And when you can build those habits in and connect them to the reasons why they're doing it, support them, love them, give them the encouragement, give them the resources, and then they start paying for it monthly and it's in their system, you know, two years, three years, it's very hard to lose a customer at that point because they're so hooked, you know, and it works so well. So building to that 24, um, you know, customer space is a healthy place to be. It's a benchmark. It's important that we celebrate that. And it's really important that if you guys are working towards that place, if you are a QSC and you're not at that 24, go do that because that would be a really important, um, just like check mark for you and your business in terms of the health of your paycheck and the health of your residual piece. Okay. So at this point, we want to ask people kind of what have you learned so far, right? Because they're going to, at this point, have had questions about allergies and cancer and all sorts of stuff. So it's important to kind of do a check-in with them and see like, what are the things that you've learned and what, you know, where are we going from here? Right? So the action item here is like, send a message to your upline and share something that's positively surprised you. Cause I, I promise you, if you get to this place, there'll be many things, right? So just acknowledging those and really, um, again, showing gratitude for those is important. All right, we're almost at the end here. So the big picture. So my advice to everybody in the business is always this, get to sales coordinator <laughs> because at sales coordinator, the company pays out the full 15% commission. And until that place, you're earning commission, if once you get past partner plus, so partner plus you get 5%, QSC over here, you get um, 10%. And then you get into PVQ. So this is, that's your qualified business. That gives you an additional 3% override on what's happening in your business. So feels like not a lot in the beginning, but for me, it's about 60% of my paycheck right now. That's a big number, right? And that's for helping. It's a little bit on a lot of stuff, right? And it really helps. It encourages you to really build that team cohesive, which is really special. But the sales coordinator piece is important because until you get here, that money is rolling upstream. The company never keeps the money. They always pay somebody out. So the next person in line to you that's above you, that's a sales coordinator is gonna earn the runoff. So if you're at 5%, they're gonna earn 10% on your commissions. If you're at 10%, they're gonna earn five. But when you get to sales coordinator, you take the whole thing. And I relate it to like waitressing. You know, when I waitressed, there were some really great bus boys and there were some really bad ones. And I hated paying out the bad bus boys at the end of the night, like feeling like I had to do that. That just like, I mean, kind of a bad example because we don't have bad people on our team, but, but you get what I'm saying. Like it just, why? Like if you're the one doing the work, then you should get paid on the work, right? I want you to keep your paycheck whole. I want you to take all that money home. I, I just do, like, I really wanna celebrate you for that. And I want you to make sure that you feel good about it too. So, when you look at potential earnings, this is kind of where it gets people's attention, right? Look at the bottom here. I did the math for you. Three personal trio customers shipping regularly is $675 of yearly earnings, okay? Six trio customers is 1,350. See that? That's where we talked about covering your cost. Remember, it's like 400 for 420 for a trio times three shipments, that gets you that number. 12 Trio customers is $2,700 of yearly earnings. Like that's a vacation, you guys, right? For getting 12 customers and keeping them. 24 Trio customers is $5,400 of yearly earnings. That's a part-time income. 36 Trio customers is $8,100 of yearly earnings. I don't know if you have kids going to college, but I'm already starting to think about that. And that right there, if I were to be tucking that away each year leading into it would set us up in a, in a big way, right? Like there's just ways, like once you take the money and you put it into real life, you know, and how it's going to affect you and your family, that's where you get the opportunity to really see it for what it is. And this is all a blessing to you for sharing a blessing with other people, right? That's the best part of this. We're not taking anything from anybody. We're only giving. Okay. So if we decide to go into that route of sales coordinator, okay, the goal here is to find some friends because you can't do it alone. I mean, you can, but it's a lot of work and then you're carrying it on your own and then you kind of get burnt out and it's a lot. And I love this proverb. It's an African proverb, but it says, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. 
A lot of us have been trained in the corporate world to keep our head down, get the job done, don't stick your neck out and don't get noticed too much. Like, so frustrating for me. (laughs) I want you to stick your neck out, shine with a huge, happy smile, bounce all the way around and celebrate everything that you've done. Like, you know, like bring that energy to the team because it goes viral. And when people start to really have fun with this, then it's contagious. And when we're in a group of beautiful people, like we are, you know, and, and we're not competing with each other because nobody's competing with anybody. Have you noticed? Like there's a hundred million spots at the top and anybody can take them. And I would love the day when somebody comes in and they blow past me and make a bigger business than I have, because it just shows me that, you know, I paid it forward in a big way. Right. So everybody benefits from success in this. And it's a really special thing. So who are you inviting to join you on that mission? Who are you enjoying inviting you to enjoy to, sorry, who are you inviting to, you know, engage with you in the growth, right? Who is going to come on the adventure with you? Who's going to be curious? Who's going to be fun? Like, don't be afraid to invite these people, but invite them with excitement, not with, um, you know, nervousness or judgment or apprehension or any of that kind of stuff, right? Like you got to make, check yourself, like check your energy when you're making these invitations. But I encourage you, if you are looking to build into the bigger space in this business, you know, that, as you're talking about product, you're also inviting to business, right? And you're just saying, hey, come on along with me. Like you can be an affiliate too, especially this month when they can make $130 worth of product, they can get that for free. There's no reason not to, right? Come check it out. There's no teeth in it. There's no expectation. Just come on, check it out and, you know, get a nice gift along the way and see what you think, right? Like take a couple steps with me and make a list of these people because you want to know who did you invite? When did you invite them? And I would always put them into three. So the first three months, you know, I'd go in and just build out, you know, make 10 invitations if that's where you want to go. Again, not everybody has to do this. Not everybody wants a team. I didn't want a team at first, but I have to tell you that team has been the biggest blessing in a multitude of ways. Um, all right. So last thing here. So notes are right. So the goal of the program is simple. We eat, right? As many of the products as you can afford, you have an awesome experience. And then you share that with others and invite them to try too. The more consistently we do that, the stronger your customer base will be and the more solid your paycheck will be as well, right? Be confident in your sharing. We have all of these products. They're all great. We just know that the trio is, it's the staple of what we do, but it doesn't have to be the only door they walk through. So if they're coming in looking for something else, then help them with that other thing. You know, if somebody comes into a boutique and they're looking for a hat, I'm not going to sell them a pair of jeans, right? Not off the bat. I'm going to help them find the hat. And when they get the hat on, we go, you know what that would look really pretty with? let me go show you this beautiful dress on the corner over here, you know, like be smart about how you're engaging with people because in the end of the day, our job isn't to sell them anything or convince them of anything. It's to guide them to the experience that they're looking to have and help them attain that. Okay. And the more happy customers we have, then the more we get to do. Okay. And here's our beautiful tower garden for you guys to see up close and personal. Um, I'm going to stop the share. <clears throat> and I think we can actually stop the recording, Danielle, here, and then we'll go into questions.